nuclear energy. Just announced a deal with the office of Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker to boost nuclear production right here in our state. Nano Nuclear Energy will receive $6.8 million to establish its new manufacturing and research development facility right here in the state. And we want to bring in J.U., who is the founder and president of Nano Nuclear Energy. For those who don't know, explain for us, first of all, thank you for being with us, and then explain for us what Nano Nuclear Energy is and how it actually works. Yeah, Nano Nuclear Energy is a vertically integrated advanced microreactor company. And what that means is it's 20 megawatts or less. So what we're doing here is we're building our flagship Kronos MMR with the University of Illinois. So on its campus, we're going to be in drilling actually this month. Uh, we're going to take that data and then submit a construction application with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission uh, in Q1 of next year, roughly. And, you know, we'll wait around for the NRC to approve that in hopefully a, a year and a half. And then at that point, we'll be pouring concrete and steel. So we'll be partnered with the university and then the state sees this and the governor sees this and we're creating 50 high paying jobs at Illinois. We're building, we bought our facility in Oak Brook recently. So we're very excited about supporting Illinois right now. Now, I know you have a Wall Street background. Can you explain uh, how that has helped really build the foundation for this company? Yeah, so we opted out to take nano nuclear uh, public early on. And with that, we captured the enthusiasm of Wall Street. Uh, you see the rise of AI data centers right now. And, and that is a big um, a price point for a lot of these uh, analysts and, and Wall Street people. So they're all now pouring into this and they know that with nuclear energy, especially the technology that Nano's creating, this is a way for them to be involved in the in the sector and the rise of this a boon in, in AI. You know, a lot of people when they hear nuclear, the first thing they think of is obviously nuclear bombs. Tell us about nuclear and really uh, the positives about nuclear. Yeah, the positives is uh, of per gigawatt hour, I think nuclear is safer than wind and solar. So if we think about it, nuclear was, was a gift given to us, I would say, but instead we used it from inception for destruction. But it really is here to help bring carbon-free energy to the world. And Nano is just playing its part with building its events new technologies that we call walk away safe. We use no liquid coolant, so th things can just melt down. Um, we use fuel that's so advanced that, you know, if you shoot a missile at it, it'll just passively cool. It, it's not gonna continue to explode. So th these are the new technologies that are happening, especially in the US, and we're here to help build back the US infrastructure in that. Talk about uh, portable micro reactors. What is that and then how does it actually work? Yeah, so we could we could transport it traditionally through road, train, ships, and it could be brought to, for example, disaster relief areas where hurricanes or, or storms hit, where traditionally we've been using diesel generators. So we could essentially replace that. Um, the military is very active around this. Uh, recently, we won an award from um, the Air Force Innovation Unit with, uh, with the closest uh, military base to DC. That we're doing a feasibility study there. So helping the military, helping um, even northern communities in, in um, Canada, they, they, there's several hundreds of them, and they have all diesel generators. So if we're able to go up there and kind of disrupt that and bring carbon-free energy, also lasting energy, um, but with safe and, and uh, long-term production, I think that's key. So let's talk about, uh, I know you mentioned the jobs coming to uh, the state of Illinois. I think you said 50 jobs. What kind of jobs are those and, and exactly what will those people be doing at this facility? What will happen there? Sure. So this is our engineering and development facility. So we will have a big part of that as uh, research. So we're going to be assembling components of our reactor. And then these 50 jobs, and that's minimum 50 jobs. We, we actually expect to be hiring hundreds of jobs eventually. But these are high paying jobs in engineering. So nuclear engineering in different parts, radiation, safety, quality control, mechanical and engineers. So we already have met even half of that. We've already hired about two dozen uh, um, people already in Illinois, and we're going to continue to to hire 
uh, to meet the threshold where we we promised to state that. So we're, this is a bare minimum is 50. We're looking to hire actually hundreds. And that's what we'd like to hear. More jobs coming to the state of Illinois. Uh, Jason, or I'm sorry, J.U., we thank you so much uh, for your time today and coming on our newscast. Thank you for having me today. Thank you.